Hello. I'm late. Getting some McDonald's real quick. I totally miss breakfast by a lot. Now give me some foods. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Yes, yeah, so y'all know the deal. We're going to uh, Indianapolis for the Indianapolis 500. Excited. So that'll be pretty fun. Now I got everything packed up in here, bringing the computer and uh, all the accessories. So hopefully we'll be able to stream a couple times while I'm there and uh, get some get some videos done. So not stuck with 11 days of nothingness on the channel. So uh, with that, hopefully you guys enjoy the vlog. Uh, I'm gonna pick up my sandwich here, and uh, that should be fun. Many thanks. All right, let's get it. So it's gonna take about probably somewhere in the vicinity of eight hours to get where we're going from our little spot in Maryland. So, oh, it's always a hell of a little drive, but um, I'm excited, man. Hopefully you guys, once again, enjoy the vlog. I'm still on my phone, so hopefully it doesn't look too terribly bad. Honestly, this phone camera's got a pretty good, it does pretty good, so. Um, yeah, so amongst that, I mean, we'll be at the track a lot. Uh, hopefully we'll see some other racing too. Of course, the little 500 and uh, uh, whatever else we get to, so. So it'll be pretty fun. So I'm gonna hop on the road so I don't uh, stop vlogging so I don't eat shit. So appreciate y'all for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Turn left onto I-81 South. Get it. All right, don't mess with me. I'm kind of pissed. Look at this. I ordered a quarter pounder. And what was the first thing I said out of my order? It was deluxe. Does this look deluxe to you? I'm pissed. Hello. We're live on YouTube. Shout out to Birdie's Mess behind me. Um, yeah, we're live right now, and we're gonna flip us around here in a minute because I, I can't do it, but uh, we're streaming. Uh, give me a second. All right, here we go. It took uh, a lot less than I thought. Everybody say hi to the, to the vlog chat. It's gonna take a little bit, but um, yeah, we're, um, we're racing. We got 18 laps left, and we're sitting like P16. I've been kind of riding the back for a while. I already broke one of my cars, but anyways, uh, Rod Car, Super Speedway Esports. Uh, here we are. So uh, it is uh, probably about 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's 10:14 right now. So I did make it. I don't think I vlogged uh, when I like. I just I had to rush in here and get everything set up. I got everything set up and ready to go with two minutes left before the race started. No joke. So uh, yeah, here we are. All right. Well, we got a we got a vlog in there. So there we go. I I guess we'll. Uh, oh, that's starting to come in. Okay. Hi, hi vlog. Maybe you'll see yourself later. Hello, future me. Hey, here we go. It took a minute. That delay, though, I forgot I turned it on the uh, the latency. Uh, I turned the latency back, but uh, there you go. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. We got like 50 watching. I wasn't even sure if it was going to happen, so shout out to all 50 people who came out tonight. So, uh, appreciate everybody, man, and uh, we're going to try to finish this one off pretty good. Oh, shit. We got Donut. Hold on. Where's the live stream on your phone at? It's not live, dummy. How we doing? Yeah. This man... He uh, he's he uh, <laughs> he got me to uh, to take over his desk and help me yep. stream tonight. So yep. shout out to yeah this feller. Yeah. So uh, of course the first place we got to go while we're here, steak and shake. Oh yeah. So it's tradition. Yeah. I always feel so awkward when I hop on the camera. What were the, what the hell are you telling? We got the J C Penny back here. What were you telling me? We have to go back <laughs> to the future. Yeah. And then we got a. They don't have one of those little uh, the thing they run through. The uh, little telephone booth. It wasn't a telephone booth, but the it was photo one of them. Stand, whatever the hell yeah, whatever it was. Nah. I just remember that getting killed. It's been forever since I've seen Back to the Future. But we're gonna go out here and get a damn burger. We gotta. We're gonna get seven by sevens. Tonight? It's, no, not tonight. But the little five hundred. Yeah, after the little five hundred. Yeah. So you heard it here first. We're gonna. We're gonna show you the the seven by sevens. We haven't done that yet on the vlog. But uh, anyways, uh, streamed, sucked, and uh, here we are at Steak and Shake. So beautiful first day. I am so tired. I got my head's pounding. But uh, this will make me feel a lot better. Give me some damn steak and shake. Mm. Look at this burger. I don't know why, but they put a knife in it. Can you give us an explanation as to why they put a knife in the burger? Is that to make it cooler? It's the prime burger. Yeah, speaking of which, it's not new. I had it last year. <laughs> but anyways, this is the, uh, what is it called? The Frisco Prime, prime something or other? Anyways. Oh dang, look at that side, man. I mean, yeah, this 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 side's gonna be the entering spot. So, what did you get? Uh, I got it on there two for three dollars. We only got a buffalo ranch burger. Man, you just took half of it with you. And uh, grilled <laughs> and cheese. Grilled cheese. All right. Because I'm five years old. Yeah. 
Man, it's been a minute since I had a grilled cheese, but I'm excited to get into this, man. It was good. I'm, I'm gonna be wearing half of this. I'll tell you that right now. But, uh, oh yeah, that's hot. Oh, I'm taking a video, whoops. All right, I'm a little disappointed with my performance. It could have been better, but I feel like shit, to be honest with you, so. Tomorrow I probably could have totally finished this thing, but I gotta say, what about food reviews? Um, gives it a, uh, see, I gave the Chaos Burger a 7.2, I think, 7.3. This is definitely closer, and I'd give it probably 7.8, 7.9. This, this, this is a little asterisk next to this one, because, again, I feel like shit. I kind of feel sick to my stomach, honestly, but it had this, like, grilled cheese dynamic. There was some, there was some grilled cheese towards the top of it. So it had this grilled cheese dynamic. It wasn't bad, but it, I didn't. I think it threw off the whole rest of the burger for me personally. But the sauces were good. A little, little sauce overload, so we'll, we'll bring it back down to like a 7.8, I think. If we brought the sauces down and got rid of the grilled cheese element, it definitely would have been 8 or above. But overall, 10 of 10, uh, first experience of Steak and Shake again this month of May. So how was yours? All right. Hello. It is, uh, I overslept. Well, I didn't, over okay, I overslept, but I, it was intentional. I need some sleep, let me tell you. So it is, uh, Saturday, it is 11.30. I wanted to kind of wake up at 8. My alarm rang at 8, and I said, fuck that. So the only thing we missed, or I missed, I guess, uh, so they ran, they ran some group practice, and I think they did a, a full field practice, and then uh, qualifying from 11 to 6. And then also took me a while to realize that, um, I guess I knew it at some point and forgot, but today's not bump day anymore. So it's just kind of qualifying. So today they set, uh, 10 through 33 from what I understand. I might be telling you this wrong, but I think I'm right. Uh, and then, uh, tomorrow is the fast nine and then, uh, the last row. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. I really liked what they did last year, which was, I guess, the traditional format. So... Uh, that's always fun. I'm not sure why they changed it, but oh well. Anyways, Bertie's not with me today. He's got to work, so um, yeah, we're just gonna head to the track and uh, have some fun. I know it's really fucking hot today, and it's um, it's not crazy hot, but it's it's pretty warm and it's uh, it's really sunny, and it's also supposed to be gusty too. So the conditions are gonna be really interesting today. Uh, this ought to be pretty fun. I'd be surprised if anybody gets, uh, if the whole field gets through the qualifying today without eating shit. Without somebody eating shit. We'll see how it goes. That ought to be fun. Hey. Yay. First time here since, uh, oh man. Since Brad Kozlowski won the Brickyard 400 last year, man. It feels forever ago, but, uh, oh, I'm so excited. Oh, road clothes. Son of a bitch. It's crazy to think. This is my going to be my fifth Indianapolis 500. So, uh, yeah, it took me a while, but I found a spot to park. Shout out to Boris. We got here in one piece. That's such a cool sound, man. What's that? Somebody's on their warm-up lap. Just started up, so. I'm going to go off in here and watch qualifying. Honestly, um, probably won't go through the garages today. I kind of want to just get up and find some shade or something if I can get up in the penthouse and just watch qualifying uh, I don't know honestly it's really not too bad it's just really sunny I don't want to burn on the first day here because I forgot sunscreen so yeah we're just gonna go uh, I just want to sit down and watch some cars for a while that's all that's all I want to do it's actually really fucking nice man really glad there's no rain I'm gonna regret saying that because that's probably gonna rain the rest of the week you watch all right they let me in so, uh, man, right when I was walking in, I don't know who's on track, but just here, as soon as they hit the line, oh my goodness, and then they went by and I couldn't hear what they were saying, but uh, somebody hit 231. That's getting on up there. That's hauling, man. I'm excited. I'm really fucking excited, man. I'm so happy to be here. Ah, man, I love it. I love it. Oh, shit, first view of the track, here comes Taku. Meow. Fucking digging, man. What I've been to... Uh, couple NASCAR races since my last Indy 500. You come back here, man, watch these cars zip around here. It's unfucking believable man. It's unbelievable. Lap two. Another solid lap. 228. Holy shit. All right, 
Oh, here we go. Now here's a spot. So here comes, uh, look at this bright orange car. Some bum in the 66. Already crashed, I heard. I don't know who he is, but uh, I heard he's got a big chance of being bummed. We'll see. I don't know, he seems pretty slow. Low-key Fernando and Alonso are about ready to be slower than Pippa. Alonso had a big, uh, I'd say a pretty big moment here in turn two. Had a left pretty good. We'll see what he does here. Coming down the front. 225, yeah. There was that left in there. Here we go. Come on, Fernando. Get on it, buddy. Oh, I got a lot lower that time. I like a lot better. Oh, man. Fernando Big rip. Yeah, the track is really hot right now. And it's pretty gusty. It's not crazy, but when I was walking in, there's definitely a big headwind. So, I don't know. There he is. Uh, number four. What is this going to be? 223. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he's still got time, I guess, to improve. But, yeah. Holy shit, Sage Karam is on it. Look at this. Look at that little, little mark over here. That is Sage Karam all over right there. Just brushed it, man. He had even had a moment down here in turn one on his first lap, and then came over here on his second lap and just... Oh, man, that's why I love this, man. The conditions are tough right now. 226. The conditions are pretty wild right now. These boys are on it. Don't hit it this time. Oh, had a lift. He is flirting with it, man. Oh, this is so great. Boy, really dropped down under 219 that lap. All because of that lift. Yeah, he's oh boy. I don't know what the hell he did in turn one. I thought he was just slowing down and quitting. Poor Sage. Get that thing fixed up. My God, I hope I hope Inch is all right. Christ Almighty, just killed it down here in turn two. I think I got the footage on the GoPro, but um, two hits. I mean, he is, whoa, destroyed it. Car ended up down there. So, God, I hope that was alright, man. That scared the shit out of me. Alright, well, qualifying is, um, well, I mean, it's, everybody's gotten one attempt so far. And, uh, so I'm sitting in turn two for an hour or so. It's pretty wild. Even in the last one, Kyle Kaiser had an oh shit moment in turn two, man. Absolutely wild session. So, uh, the rest of the day, um, I don't know, I guess everybody just gets decided. I don't even know how it works to be honest at this point anymore since they changed it, but um, kind of heading towards the garages now, so. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's walk around and see how it goes. Uh, here we go. A lot of cars. Now we're refueling at eight. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's where all the action's happening right here. It was a fun time just casually strolling through. Uh, I got my bronze badge this year, so. Just kind of, uh, I don't know, see a lot of interesting people back here and a lot of cool cars, that's for sure. So, this is, uh, this is where it happens. I'm gonna have to pass by Hinchcliffe's garage stall, see what's going on there. Zach Feach, how you doing? So here's the bum, that slow guy in the 66. That's where it's going down. Trying to figure out how to make it faster. Pretty crazy how fancy the inside of this is. Look at this. <laughs> and down here it gets interesting. The Aero Crew. Uh, so uh, I don't know what the status is, but uh, I would not want to be in that garage right now. I tell you that. <laughs> yeah, there's just a mob, mob of people down here. So. 
I gotta see what's going on, I guess, see what they're doing. Danica. That doesn't look good. McLaren's not the only one with a cool garage, man. Look at that. That's really neat. It's Jack Harvey up there. Great looking car, too. That's pretty cool they got going on there. Speaking of which, hey. Mm. That's a pretty cool looking car. Here we go. So here is the uh, the last two winners of Indy 500. We got Will Power and Taku. Good looking cars. One of my favorite parts of May. The preferred freezer bear is back. <laughs> Chilling. So it's uh, a little past three o'clock. So three hours left. Uh, there's nobody really on track right now. A couple couple uh, runs have been made, but. Um, yeah, I guess it's going to pick up after a while, so um, from what I understand, I'm not, once again, they changed the format this year, so I'm not 100% sure about it, but um, yeah, I think, uh, I don't know if there's a limited amount of runs, but uh, everybody should have a chance to go back out if they want to improve their time, one way or the other, so uh, I guess we'll get a lot of that here soon in the next couple hours, so I don't know what I'm going to do. It's kind of hot. Probably go back up in the stands, might go up in the turn one, see if I can find some shade, so... I don't know, just walk around a little bit more, but uh, either way, it's already been a pretty interesting day, and uh, towards the end of the day, I'll probably end up back at two. That has been, uh, that's been the corner to watch. JR fans out there. Yeah, Alonso. Who like Johnny Rutherford? Get ready to go. Underneath the pagoda. There you go. I got to see that one. It took a couple days. But, uh, they will power. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is the uh, pagoda suite entrance. I had to go there once. Threw a paper airplane off top. Let's not talk about that story. Alonzo working a wheel. And I'm working my way up the steps. But uh, it looks like Alonzo's done. I don't even know what he ran, but it's got to be better than what he ran the first time. So all the McLaren guys are hustling back. That might not be good. Right here. It's gonna come down to this final lap, and here he comes. Here he comes. 
So far, really fun. Obviously, it's going to get interesting here in the last handful of minutes, but uh, not as interesting as last year because, you know, nobody gets bumped today. They get, uh, you know, there's confirmed spots, but uh, all the official bumping, I guess, takes place tomorrow. So, kind of lame, but, you know, whatever. Fernando is on the bubble. We got Sage Cameron running right now. Oh boy, <laughs> that was pretty fun. Hey, look at the pagoda, man. This place is incredible, let me tell you. Sage Caravan looks like he's not going to make it. He fell from 19th on lap number one. Very disappointed, Sage Caram. Rough day today. Go get him tomorrow, champ. Back in the garages. I think Alonzo is bumped. He's going to have to go to tomorrow to race or qualify his way in. Pretty crazy. Qualifying just ended. I think Ray Hall's still out there doing his last run, but um, and not 100% official. But uh, I think Alonzo, yeah, he's gonna have to qualify his way in. So, oh boy. Shut up, Anthony. Oh, well, garages are pretty quiet at this point. There's team meeting going on in there. I guess trying to figure out how the hell to get in the field tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, other than that, things calmed down. Of course, this was a uh, close car today. Um, yeah, pretty badly torn up. Put the cover on it, that's about it. So, uh, yeah. So, let's wait around here for a little while and go back. It's the best part of the day. All the flags are down. <laughs> So all the faces, they just kind of scrunch up. <laughs> Connor Daly seen better days here. Oh. Man, what a fun time. Good to be back at the track. I get burnt. I got a little burnt. Really should have got sunscreen. I knew I was going to forget it at some point. I need to buy some. Arms aren't too bad, but uh, a little bit more tan. But, uh, yeah, so of course, Alonzo and Hinge didn't make the top. 30 that is pretty wild but um yeah tomorrow we got the the fast nine and the the last row shootout so that's gonna be pretty darn fun then uh, i think they said there's a practice after qualifying tomorrow so that's supposedly new and of course we got the monday practice and that's just about it uh for a good portion of the week till carb day so um, but yeah, with that, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, today's footage. I don't know exactly what you'll see, but uh, I had a hell of a fun time and uh, look forward to being back tomorrow. So uh, that's pretty much going to conclude today. I'm probably going to go pick up some food, take it back to Birdie's place, and uh, he gets off. Uh, yeah, I think he's still working, so uh, feels bad. He has to work tomorrow, too, so I missed him today. If you're watching, I missed you. We'll still get to go to a lot of stuff together, so uh, anyway, that'll do it. I just wanted some Taco Bell. I don't. I don't know what the fuck this is. I. I don't know. I. I want to go back to Maryland. It's 12:30, Sunday night. Actually, it's about 1 a.m. Okay, it's about 1 a.m. Monday morning. There is now a Larson on the Steak and Shake drive-through window. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Hello. So. uh yeah, we kind of lost a day in there. It is uh, Monday, 11 a.m. So obviously yesterday was the end of qualifying. I didn't even go to the track. It uh, rained most of the day. So I woke up, I said, fuck it. I don't want to get rained on. Um, I've been rained on so many times at the at between Richmond and 
Indianapolis here and I just didn't want to get <laughs> rained on again at the track and get all soggy so uh, they did I honestly didn't think they'd get qualifying in but uh, they got the fast nine in in the last row shootout obviously you guys know Fernando Alonso didn't make it I wish I was kind of at the track there for that last qualifying run Kyle Kaiser what a cool ass but um, that's all right anyways we're going to the track today this is always a fun day um, this is always one of my favorite days of the track just because it's really low-key uh, there's most of the crowd is pretty much gone after qualifying so not a lot of people usually go to the Monday practice uh, I think there's only I guess there's just one practice session today uh, and Indy Lights uh, start up today so they, they practice too so cool I'm still kind of waking up but yeah it ought to be pretty fun once again Brody's got to work so it feels bad man he won't get to go to the uh, to IMS until I guess carb day but we will have Wednesday we'll, we will be going to a little 500 practice and Terre Haute so that's going to be a lot of fun. But uh, there's nothing really tomorrow, so you probably won't see anything for tomorrow. And of course, Carb Day on Friday. Legends Day is still up in the air uh, on Saturday. Of course, that'll be the little 500 uh, race day, which is going to be badass. And of course, Sunday race day. So either way, I'm going to head to the track now uh, and see what's going on. I had to be in uh, really, really hot on Saturday and real cold today. Fun. Eat it. Alright, this is long overdue, but I finally got it. I was last year's 500 winner. I was there for it, and uh, I got the figure edition, so. Looks like he's having a shit. There it is. You can't really see it, but. Yeah, there it is, so nothing crazy. It's a shame they don't do the race versions anymore, but uh, got to add that one to the collection. This is my fourth uh, Indy 500 winner. I've gotten all the ones I've seen, so have to add a fifth here very soon. Uh, there it is. Good looking car. I have his actually, uh, I have his 2017 car. So it's kind of the same, but uh, obviously the different uh, arrow, but yeah, there it is. A little power having a shit. <laughs> there you go, pretty cool. Alrighty, well, that's the fire. Two hours of practice. Send it. F. F once again for Fernando Alonso. DNQing the 2019 Indy 500. And for that, crying Pippa. Looks like Chris Windham down there gonna be in the Freedom 100 if he doesn't crash out again this year. Back up at the penthouse today, just gonna watch the practice. Seems like practice is pretty good, just now getting up here. Man, it's pretty damn cool to see him really out running now. Man, I'm telling you, it'd be crazy to watch a race up here. How about this view? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Back in the garages. Marcus Erickson uh, tapping tap the wall. But, um, yeah. Ten minutes left to practice and chill back here for a while. This is the only practice today. This is the second to last practice. The last one, I guess, is an hour and a half on carb day, which is Friday. So, uh, yeah, this is about it. I guess I'll watch a little bit of the Indy Lights practice, and that'll be it. I might grab a tender alone on my way out. We'll see. The legend, A.J. Foyt, has just arrived. He ain't signing for nobody. <laughs> what a legend. Damage. 
That's good. Can I get a picture? You're the best teammate in F1 2017, man. Alright, thank you. Build the hair. Kind Pippa. Pit road. Nothing really going on other than um, uh, Indy Lights. There's cute little Cooper tires on there. Oh dear. Hope Chris Windham makes it to the race this year. Hey, Daku! It is the pole sitter, ladies and gentlemen, for the 103rd Indy 500. What a nice guy. <laughs> Pretty crazy. All right, I'm on my way out. So, fun day, man. I'm so happy I got a picture with Marcus Erickson. That was so cool. But uh, I was looking for Will Power. I got his, uh, of course, you guys saw his uh, winner from last year. So, you know, I have to try to get that signed at some point. But uh, I didn't see him today. So, I'm going to go home and go. I'm just going to go and pick up some steak and shake. And, yes, uh, probably get some videos done. I guess Thank you, uh, this will Thank probably be one of the couple days I can uh, get a couple so done. Much, Georgia, and again, Once again, I got a lot of stuff recorded, not a lot of done, you know, edited and uploaded and stuff. So, anyways, uh, this is pretty much it for IMS until Friday. About to hit these dudes up and see if they can come out to Maryland and do my yard. I wish my yard looked like this, man. That's nice. That's really nice. Except for that little little, little patch here. <laughs> what else was nice? People are like, who the hell is this guy? You gotta, you gotta tell him who you are and what you're about. My name is Eli, mm -hmm. and I'm a huge race fan. The tingles. That's that's good enough. That's better than what he usually says. Yeah. Anyways, we're we're at uh, where are we? What is this place called? Skyline Chili. Skyline, Skyline Chili. Chili, and we got them uh, chili dogs. I'll see you once before. I think I vlogged it too. I didn't get a bib this time, which is not gonna be good. But um. Yeah, this is good? really good. All right, yeah, all right. Pizza. Yeah, <laughs> I'll let y'all know how this goes. It's gonna go messy, I'm sure. All right, give us your best chomp. Here we go. Oh, that was really well. That was really well done. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at the cheese. Oh yeah. <laughs> the cheese is rough. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Full sin. Oh yeah. Mm. Is it good though? Mm-hmm. Got my second coney going on here. Uh huh. It's uh, Wednesday. Oh yeah, that's right. We didn't tell him. Yeah, uh, we didn't do anything yesterday. I forgot. Uh, yeah, it's one o'clock. <laughs> I forgot what the hell we were doing. I mean, the coney dog, Skyline Chili. In Anderson, Indiana. Anderson, Indiana. Here okay, go. there you go. Oh yeah, that was good. See, see, we need him to to tell everybody what the hell's going on because I don't, I can't do that apparently. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? <laughs> I feel good right now. Uh, yeah. Alright. So, I almost made it all the way through. I'm proud of myself. You could have done better. Yeah. I, I just have a couple scraps of spaghetti left. But, uh. Lots of cheese. Uh, yeah. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm, never, I'm a clean plate club guy. Alright. I'm a, cl I'm a member of the clean plate club. So, I, I'm, I've been an honorary member for several, several years. <laughs> All right, you gonna tell us why why we're here? Little 500 and, practice. And where we're at? Anderson Speedway. All right. There's a sign over there. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. So yeah, it's when what you got the time? 1:37. We're all filled up with Coney dogs, oh, yeah. and uh, we're here for practice. Practice, race, practice. Man, it's a good crowd. It's a brickyard crowd. For the for those of you who probably who might have saw the uh, vlog from last year. Uh, you would have saw this track. Uh, we were here last year uh, for practice too. Of course, the little 500 will be on Saturday night. So this is uh, trying to be the best race of the week. So that'll be a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, the famous Anderson Speedway bathroom. Show them the beautiful sky, why don't you? <laughs>
Oh, this is nice. Well, here we go. I guess they still do it in groups, right? Just here. All right, push these dudes off. Man, we were here for backups last year. We saw a couple of people eat shit. I don't know if we'll see that this year, but... Man, what a cool track. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty damn cool. Hell yeah. There you go, there's a little bit better view. We already had one dude. He didn't wreck it, but uh, he had a couple big slides down here in three and four. The 74 car. After the second slide, he shut her down and said, fucking left, so... We're up to these two guys here. Really? Yeah. Kenny? I didn't know he was running. I was gonna say, for those of you, what, uh, Tony Stewart, he ran in, what was it, 2017? Yeah. Yeah, so, he didn't do too bad. He finished, uh, like, third? third? Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, Kenny! How much better can it get? Okay, we made it up to the, the Richmond the Richmond Raceway Commonwealth Tower. Anderson's version. I think you and I both know, especially walking up this section, some big boy's gonna come up through here one time and just go right through one of these motherfucking oh, yeah. boards. <laughs> this place is great. It looks like we got some new stands down there, which is uh, surprising. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad up here, but like some of the boards coming up, man, especially like over in those sections. I noticed one where you walked over and then I walked on it and it felt like I was gonna go through the motherfucker. And combined, we're like barely 200 pounds. Of course, this is where it's going all down back here. Everybody getting the cars dialed in. Hell yeah, man. It's pretty damn cool. Anderson Speedway has been marked. It was about to happen. Somebody ate shit. Right here in Paris? Yeah. He flipped his dick off in front of us, what, two years ago? Yeah, so we were getting t-shirts. And uh, yeah, well he missed it, but it happened. All right, you wanna tell them why we're, where we're at, what we're doing? Terre Haute, you sat at the Holman Classic. Sprint cars. Professional. That's right, boys. <laughs> Get it. Oh, hell yeah. Kenny. It's gonna be a good night, man. Yeah. So, I just modifies and sprints? Sprint cars? Yeah. Hell yeah. So, where's going down back here? Prep? Oh, yeah. How you feeling? Pretty good. You got the time? It's like a little past five, isn't it? Uh, 6.13. Oh, okay. Missed an hour. Anyways, um, so what's the schedule for tonight? Uh, in about 10 minutes or so, we're going to get to hot lapping. All right. And qualifying and modified stuff. All right. And, uh, yeah, we got word that uh, we got some legends racing tonight. We'll see them later. Heats right here. Get it. For ones, please. With uh, lemonade. Chick-fil-A sauce. It'd be awesome. Did you want to drink here? Uh, no, I think we're good. Alright, toast 2232. Thank you. My pleasure. How much? My eyes, yeah. There you go. I got you. And this is Brody. Yes. 2232 oh, for you. Thanks for helping. <laughs> 
clue. Spend your money. <laughs> yeah, we we're at Chick Fil A right now. <laughs> Ken Trader. We left the track to go to Chick Fil A. Dude, we're missing Ken Trader, Kenny Wallace, and David Strummer. Yeah. The All Star Three, man. Huh? It's better be some damn good chicken. We just took a loan out to uh, go to Chick Fil A. <laughs> it's quite a quite a gang in there. <laughs> this might be the highlight of my day, right? Now. <laughs> if, if you edit this out, I want it to be like if my my thing. I want it to be like this. Oh, I got it right okay, there. It. Yeah, yeah. Was it better the first time or the second time? I think the first time. You want to freeze frame it? Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. See, I, I did a natural freeze frame. Yeah, I can Photoshop you out and everything. Photoshop. Don't oh. Photoshop these fine people out. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's my pleasure all the time. <laughs> First one. Oh, that's sweet. Bam. Many thanks. Thank you. Last, last but not least, for sure. Mm. Oh. Straw. Still using straws. That's good. What? <laughs> uh, brought this banana at 8 in the morning. I thought I might need it. <laughs> but unfortunately, we've, we've been just hitting just food joints all along the way, so I don't need this. Yeah. You never know when you might need a banana. Awkward with a nice lady in there. <laughs> That'd be awkward, dude. I already yeah. gave him the change, so. Now I'm, would banana. you like my banana? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta is, worry. That, is that, that's not, that's you not. gotta worry I mean, about I'm, that. I mean, I mean, is that what you call it? <laughs> <laughs> those strips look really good, though. On that. Yeah, they do. Mm. I want to dip those all over the place. Dude. Oh, yeah. Cater to every guest list. I would get all the sauces and just mix oh. them together. Just dip all those. <laughs> yeah, you have a great day, hey, right? you too. Thank all right. You. Thanks. Oh, hell yeah. That's a huge, huge bag of chicken. <laughs> That's a giant working. bag of chicken. That's like $22 worth of chicken That's right there. That's $22. <laughs> we worked hard for that. <laughs> <laughs> we worked hard for that one. Yeah. Is it good? Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Nothing like a nice ripe banana at 828 in the PM. <laughs> Is it warm? But it's hot. <laughs> like a hot banana coming in. Well, we're getting there race time. Had some Chick-fil-A, pounded some chicken sandwiches. Was yours good? Oh yeah. was alright. Could have been better. But uh oh <laughs> shooting off t-shirts over here. But um yeah, I don't even know who won the modified race, but um. Oh, really? They haven't raced? Well, shit. I don't know what the hell that thing is, but it's cool. And there's a wild Eli down there. He drives the Clawson Market. It's about that time. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So coming out to the 49th running of the Tony Holman Classic. So if they come out turn four, yeah, yeah. wave your hat, wave your program pick, light up your flashlight on your cell phone and wave that as well. All the way back, here the can action track. Ladies and gentlemen, you can hit You can hit your quick call.
Nos for pouring out the sponsorship. Free Nos. Much obliged. Uh, yeah, free. There you go. Power punch. I'm gonna save this for race day. Holy shit. Oh my god. So someone got their ass beat. Yeah, that 71 car, that black car. Yeah, Jason McDougal. No. Oh, the other, the other guy. guy. He had enough of it. <laughs> so he's like, I had enough of this. I'm so disappointed I missed it. Oh, did you oh, see man. that blue and bacon get together? Somebody burn it the fuck down. So who's your 100 time? The last one. How you feeling? Oh man, I'm feeling great. Especially after, after last night. Yeah. Had a good time at the sprint car race. Uh huh. Now we're going to do a little silver crown racing over here at the fairgrounds. Alright. We're the missing last our. One. Yeah. So we got we to gotta do it. We're missing our friend. Yeah. Yeah, he's missing MIA. Mm hmm. Who knows? He might show up later. Who knows? Man, look at this. I guess it's already been sold, but, uh, oh man, that's pretty cool. Fair enough. They are no different. They're making the same. I kind of missed 
the command, but uh, the end result is always the same. on because there's so many switches <laughs> and bells and whistles that I don't even know how to use in this truck. That's okay. This is going to be an audio segment. Audio segment. Or I can put up a, an image of something to entertain. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. You put up a still. Yeah. We, we could do like maybe like a still of me eating a uh, a coney oh, from, that's, from the, that's uh, perfect. the skyline yeah. experience we had. Alright. So, uh, did you enjoy the race? You know, most of the Hoosier hundreds are kind of boring. It's it's all about tradition. Mm -hmm. It's all about history. The cars are amazing. They sound amazing. They're fast. It's exciting. It's exhilarating when they go by you. Um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed that I was I was just fortunate enough to be at the last one. Um, you know, it's it's bittersweet. You know, it being the last one, but at the same time, enjoying so many throughout the years, so many different winners and so many different uh, heroes that came through there. I couldn't have said it better myself. Right. I mean, it was only my second one, but... Yeah, but you could see how that race would, would, would definitely grow on you and become a tradition oh, every yeah. year, and then you'd want to go back every year and... You I know, feel like it's part of it now. Every time I come out here, we right. always do the right. The so you know races. they're gonna they're gonna have it somewhere else now, and we'll just see where it's gonna be, and we'll go from there. But um, you know that was the final Hoosier Hundred, and uh, at the fairgrounds at least they're gonna move it. But uh, 
our guy, my guy finished third. Uh, he kind of didn't have the car all night, but he kind of stuck in there. But uh, felt bad for Kevin Thomas Jr. You know, he led so much of the race. He led 90% yeah. of the race, and on uh, with nine to go, he ended up giving the lead up to Courtney, who uh, went ahead and uh, pulled away for the last uh, four or five laps. So it was, uh, all in all, it was a good night. Got a lot of good pictures, and it was a good night. We had a lot of fun. I agree. So tomorrow, it's carb day. It's going to be a long day at the track. Once again, there's no way in hell I'm going to get this under an hour, or around an hour. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, let's see how that goes. But we're going to have a fun time tomorrow, man. The Freedom 100, uh, the last final practice, and um, probably see well, a lot of drunk people. Yeah, and then uh, we're going to head over to uh, Raceway Park for the uh, Carb Night Classic, mm -hmm. where we watch the Silver Crown cars, the same series we watched tonight, run on the pavement this time. So... That's usually another Cody Swanson benefit race. <laughs> and those, uh, what the hell are those things called? Those uh, open wheeled suckers? Yeah, I think it's the the Pro. The, the something 2000. Yeah, yeah. The, the Formula 2000s yeah. or the Pro. It used to be the Pro Mazda. Yeah. I don't think Mazda is affiliated in the name anymore, but it's the same concept. It's a feeder series to the, yeah. to the Indy cars. It's the, the road, the ladder system. Right. That, uh, you get to check out. I still, you know, I've never seen him run. And yeah. a lot of times I've been here for whatever reason rain or whatever else just haven't seen them running so yeah a bunch of names you can't pronounce yeah. uh, a bunch of you know guys from europe and stuff like that who, my favorite uh, have deep pockets yeah but tonight was all about americano good old-fashioned <laughs> american fun dirt track racing and uh i had a blast yeah i had a great time yeah all right so we'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early well as early as we as we, we can get so uh, Alright. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so it's like 9 30, 10 o'clock, an hour before final practice, and it is carb day. So it rained, of course, this morning. Nice little storm. The track's getting dried. I'm going to the garages. I'm trying to get my power wind signed from last year. So uh, Brody's here today. He's going to the penthouse, save us a seat. We'll probably see him later. It's really muggy out today, and now it's really pancakey. A lot of people here, and this is like one of the first real days, man. It just gets real pan pancakey at carb day. So a lot of people, man, really coming in and coming to the track today. So the garage is going to be crowded. Marcus's car going out for one more practice. Somehow, some way, crying Pippa is still holding on on carb day. That's incredible. That's so great. All right, we're getting close to practice time. We made it up to the penthouse. What's up? How are we doing? Show off my camera. Oh yeah. We've got a crying Pippa and a shot closer. That's really great. <laughs> so uh, the track still looks wet. Yeah, the uh, pavement thing. The sealer? No, I mean it legitimately looks wet. Oh wow. Well. Like it's not dry. Like it's not playing until it's just shiny. But uh, the fun part about this is after practice, Indy Lights is like right on it afterwards, so we won't have to wait too long, so. Um, but yeah, that's what we're sitting for today, I guess. It's, uh, it is packed up here in the penthouse. So, it is packed down there in the garages, let me tell you. All right, race control telling us now. We're Thank back you. To one to go. Oh, one I want the damn. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
get going. This is my guy. Oliver Askew, he's my pick. I picked Pat Award last year. He finished second. I don't know any of these scrubs, but it's going to be fun. This is my favorite race. Almost my favorite race. It's like my second favorite race. We're almost there. We're hauling all the cars out right now. <laughs> we got about 11 cars for today, something like that, 10 or 11. Uh, that's the best. And now, race fans, for the most famous words in motorsports, please welcome Townsend Bell and Paul Tracy. Wow. Cool. Gentlemen! Scrubs go to battle in the Freedom 100. They're in Indianapolis. Send them on their way to get us normal. See you guys. Remember Chris Wade did move up his dick off last night at the Hoosier 100. There he is. We'll see if he can better it today. Hope not. And the legend turn in ready. Starting last. It's already wrecked before the race has started. What a fucking legend. <laughs> what the damn. Alright, well, one's on pit road, one on one that already spun out. But here we go, green. So we're down to 10 cars, I think. Oh boy, here we go. One of the best races of the week, the Freedom 100. Fucking send it. Basically just another scrub cup <laughs> video. No, he fucking did it. He is a fence. Wyndham just ate shit on lap one into the fence. I can't believe it. I was joking with you saying that he's got a new objective. Now he has to hit the fence. Man, I hope he's all right. I cut the car almost in half. Jeez, that's unbelievable, man. Yeah, just about. That's incredible, man. Oh my god. Press F to pay respects. Like Chris Wyndham, again. Unbelievable. What a crash, man. Now they're both alright. Alright, well, I think we're good. We fixed the safer barriers. And we're ready to get back rolling. So. We're down to like eight or nine cars at this point, and we only made one lap, so, uh, yeah. Half a lap to go. What a race. Oh, he's backed him way up. He's going to get him on the front. Oh, he's, he's going to get him, I think. Oh, I not enough. Oh! Hey! Yeah! Interaction are perfect, man. Hell yeah! And I just now found out that that was my free race pick. I'll over ask you. Yeah! Alright! God, I love Freedom 100, man. So great. Uh. It took way too long. But, um, Tenderloin is here. I put all the ketchup and mustard on the opposite side like a dumbass, but, uh, there it is. World famous. So, that's probably be the only one I get this week, which sucks, but, oh man, I can't wait. I think Look. I think we're kind of standing here in the very back uh, corner of the uh, of the lot here, and I yeah, think the winner of this race is. Yeah. Oh man. It's carb day, and it's still here. Yeah, Lars said. That's so great. All right, well I'm heading out and meet up with Brody. Uh, I got Will Power, the one autograph I wanted, just with the signed uh, 500 winner. So I'll add that to the collection. 
and uh, yeah, it was a fun day. There's a pit competition. I always do a shit job of explaining things, but that's where he came from, so I got that all wrapped up, and uh, yeah, I don't even know who won. It's always kind of lame. Nobody really gives a shit, so. But uh, we got IRP still tonight, so. Fun carb day as always. A lot of people, a lot of elbows, but uh, good times, good times, for sure. Divorcey. Anybody works. It's recording. You can hold. Welcome to Carb Day Part Two. To the mailbox. Yeah, about to mow down a mailbox. So we're heading off to IRP for the Carb Night Classic. We're in Boris. Call ye. Yeah, nice call. So what do you want to debrief what happened today? Uh, man, I, I thought everything I was going to say in my head. Which way did I go? Left or right? Left. We're going, left. We're going this way. We're going this way. Um. Yeah, so I'm just trying to think of what you guys saw. So, yeah. obviously we had the uh, final practice for an hour and a half, uh, which kind of got delayed, but we got it all in. Uh, TK was quickest. It was a pretty... Oh, straight? Okay. It was a pretty stupid top six, um, which, I don't know. You ain't turning right there, Chad. Sorry. Uh, Oliver won. Toby is a badass. Yeah. yeah well, uh, hopefully you'll probably see some like footage. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to IRP. This is like the this is Carbonite Classic, yep. uh, the uh, second half of today. So we've got the uh, USF 2000, is that what it is? USF? Yep. Pro Mazdas and USAC Silver Crown Pavement Edition. Yeah. So we got three races. Oh, yeah. yeah it's going to be pretty damn good. And of course, tomorrow is uh, Little 500. Yep. Yeah. So excited. And of course, race day on Sunday. So. Big show. Yeah. Uh, so that about does it. I guess we'll see you at the track. Bye. So we're getting parked here for the, uh, what you call it, um, Carb Night Classic, oh, there you go. and here's the uh, famous drag strip. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I just drove across it uh, here at IRP, home of the U.S. Nationals. This is where they tow all the top fueler cars and all that stuff back after they do their runs. It's awesome. It's like a little parade. Anything to add? No, that's pretty cool. I just happy to be here. How you doing? What's up? Thanks for watching. You're probably in like hour five by now, the vlog. That's gonna be so bad, man. Well, uh, since we're about at the halfway point, grab some corn and enjoy. Corn. Popcorn. Oh. Yeah. 11 and up, up, and under. Take advantage of extra discounts store wide. That's 15% off the See, but you begin an extra downforce now? Oh, yeah. I am planted to the ground. Alright. And how are these nachos over here? All you see. <laughs> I've uh, I gained 35 pounds in uh, two weeks. This is garbage. That's pretty impressive. I'm on vacation. They look good. Oh yeah. Those are a little spicy. They're gonna. I'm gonna have to pay for that later on. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So we are at uh, IRP. I guess we gave you the rundown already, so you know what the hell's going on. But uh, yeah, it should be good. Oh my God, guys, here we go. Uh, I've never seen these things run in my life, but they look like a shitload of fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Well, I can miss. I missed the command, but uh, here we go. So we got a nice little field. This race either gonna be really stupid or really bad. So. Yeah. Here we go. He's been handing out the blue flag to some of these guys, and it's funny because uh, I'll tell you about it later. But every time these dudes were holding up the leader, he got more and more mad every single time and start started aggressively <laughs> showing the blue flag more and more and more every time. By us, hilarious. But uh, yeah, a couple of knuckleheads finally done did it. So it hasn't been too terribly bad. It hasn't been a lot of passing, but it's been kind of it's been one of those kind of stupid, funny kind of races, I guess.
was surprised at how chippy those guys were. There was a lot of cutting off and uh, aggressive driving. Yeah. All right, well, that's one down. Yeah, they uh, they got all, like, a whole victory lane thing, podium and everything for this series, man. And, like, four people give a shit, so that's great. It's fun. I'm so disappointed I missed it, man. This dude in the gray. They had a champagne celebration. Well, uh, champagne celebration. And uh, my man poured it all over himself after finishing third in a USF 2000 race at IRP. Congratulations, champ. There goes Brody, somewhere in there. Oh, there's the hat. He's going to get some nachos. He's going to split them things. Yeah, so we're up to the uh, Pro Masters, which have like 90 more horsepower and uh, a lot less cars, apparently. We only got 12, which is one more than the Indy Lights. Which, after uh, half a lap, we ended up with two less. So, like, we had like nine. Eight or nine. I mean, we had nine cars. Anyways, we got 90 laps. We had 75 laps of the U.S. F2000. And, of course, the main event tonight, Silver Crown, which I guess is 100. So, we're almost there. We got our own nachos. There we go. Like bad races, that's gotta be up there, right? One of the worst. Okay, I'm like these motherfuckers still finishing. <laughs> I'm like today's 10 car field at uh, uh for the Freedom 100, man. I, I don't think I saw a pass. No, that was bad. I mean, the first one was just bad because it was stupid, but like it was it was kind of fun. But like this, man, yeah, it was pretty rough. Uh, I, uh, the most exciting thing that happened during this race was me dropping my nacho all over me. I don't know if it was on the GoPro or not, but it was really embarrassing. It was probably, like, the most embarrassing moment of my life, honestly. I got myself cleaned up. It wasn't pretty. I got it all over my pants and everything. But uh, all right, one more race to go. Everybody's chugging. Get it. 
Cody Swanson's already on it, man. Already on it. My phone's almost dead. The race is over. We're on the front. So, yeah, the track started coming apart and it started like flying everywhere. So, <laughs> it definitely, it's not as bad as, uh, you know, what it looked like on the track because it, at some point it was just flying everywhere. But, uh, yeah, we'll talk about the race when I get my phone charged up. But, uh, we both had a fun time, I think. It was a good time. So, hell yeah, man. It's been a while since I've been to I IRP. But, uh, good to be back. And there's the winner right there. What's his name again? Kyle Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, Kyle Hamilton. I remember the third time. It looked like a C. Nope. There you go. There you go. I mean, they were snagged. snagged. Oh, okay. There you go. Hi. Hello there. We're in the Steak and Shake drive thru. I'm getting a shake. Yep. This is like my there second shake of the time uh, I've been here. So, nice. Uh, so yeah. Uh, real quickly, because once again, we're probably in about hour four of the vlog. Yeah. So, uh, Wyndham crashed again. Yeah. Third time in 24 hours uh, between the Hoosier 100, Freedom 100, and uh, Carbonite Classic. And. Shame. Yeah. I can't remember his name, dude. I keep forgetting it. Who won? Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton. I keep on wanting to say Tyler something. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, overall, like the, the USF 2000 race, wasn't horrible. It was it the second best race of the night. Yeah, it wasn't horrible. The Mazda race with like 11 cars, that was probably, like, I've seen a lot of races and a lot of like minor league races, I guess if you want to call them. That's probably got to be yeah. top five worst races I've ever yeah, seen in my same. life. Yeah, same. That was terrible. It was a joke. Uh, and the third race, of course, the Carbonite Classic. It was, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't the best in the world, but... Uh, there towards the end it got pretty interesting. Uh, there was a couple of side jobs going back and forth. I thought that was pretty fun. Yeah. Good race though. Tell them what you think. It was good. Yeah. Is that all you think? Very good. <laughs> okay. I mean, you know, lots of things shaking it up with uh, Wyndham crashing and uh, Swanson blowing an engine and what else happened? Something else stupid happened. I also got to explain. Uh, I, I kind of hope it came out on the GoPro, but uh, I, uh, I missed my, my face hole. I was eating nachos. So he got he, he yeah. went and got us nachos and we split them, and uh, I just had a I had a horrible accident. <laughs> I was sitting there. The yeah, problem with it was that. I can't eat and watch the race at the same time. The problem with it was I started losing my grip and I also missed my face. So it just went clear right on my arm. There was two things at once. Yeah, and it just it just like went clear over my arm. And yeah. we didn't have a napkin, so I had to take the paper that the nachos were in <laughs> to clean it off, and then I used my pants for the rest of it. Yeah. I felt like a fucking idiot. It happens. But, um, yeah. Yep. So tomorrow is Legends Day. For those of you guys who don't know, not really. It's I'm probably not going to go. There's not a lot going on. I mean, uh, There's yeah. a full field autograph session, uh, all the 33, uh, row by row. And, of course, uh, the Legends, uh, all the Legends from the Indy 500 will be there. Yeah, the autograph um, session. Yeah, all the autographs. Uh, so legends basically, autograph session. It's a lot of old. Drivers meeting. It's a lot of old men uh, going after old drivers. Mm-hmm. And it's it's kind of a fuster cluck, so I don't really want to get in there. Yeah. And I, also, we have bigger fish that night. That is true. Well, I was getting there. Uh, so yeah, we. Um, I love being able to edit when I can't think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Other than that, uh, tomorrow I'm probably not even going to go to the track. The one autograph I wanted, uh, I already got, and that was just a willpower car. That's it. I don't care for the rest of it. So, um, but most importantly, tomorrow, the best race of the week, the little 500 Anderson. Uh, you saw the practice footage we were oh, there yeah. for uh, Wednesday practice, and um, yeah, this is this is gonna be my third little 500. This is your fourth, right? Yep. So I'm so excited. If you guys have know about the race, you probably know how badass it is. Hopefully, you've made it to at least one little 500. Um, I really didn't know about it until a couple of years ago, and then we started going. Uh, so it's uh, amazing. Yeah, hopefully you'll, you'll see some of that. It's so much fun. It is yep. so much fun. If you're if you're around Indiana, you gotta get you gotta get there. You I mean, there. if you're going to the 500 the next day, be ready to be sleep deprived. But yeah, because the race starts at fucking eight o'clock. So and the next best part after that, we're getting seven by sevens. Hell yeah. I said it was gonna happen. It's gonna happen after the little 500. We're gonna get seven by sevens. If you don't know what it is, you'll see it later in the vlog. In mm -hmm. hour six of the vlog. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is gonna be such yeah. a long video. I tried yeah. my best. No, if you're watching this segment right now, I've already edited it and uploaded it and everything. I just want you to know, I tried my best. I really did. Alright, you, you can end it now, unless you want to say something else.
NASCAR. Tomorrow. I left to get Steak and Shake for 30 seconds. What the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> I swear to God it was normal like a minute ago. What the damn? Holy shit. This is incredible. It's been a while, man. This is like the first good storm. We didn't get any good storms back in Maryland before I left. This is the first good one I've caught. It's wild, man. Holy shit. It looks like a McLaren blimp. <laughs> I'm not at the track. I guess I guess Brody lives close enough, but uh, yeah, it's just a blimp flying by. Fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's awkward. All right, it's that time. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's a little 500. I look forward to this race now every single year. <sighs> I mean, you've probably heard me talk about it at some point. We've talked about it a lot here, but uh, I mean, you guys will see it. It's uh, it's a magnificent race, let me tell you. There's so many great things about it, uh, and I've been waiting to, to get there all week. Really, I mean, after this, and then it's just like, wait, you sleep a couple hours, and then, uh, of course, the, the Indy 500, I think we're probably going to have to wait a day. It's not looking good for race day, but um, either way, it is uh, about 6 o'clock, so I'm uh, going to go pick up Brody from work. Uh, he's getting off at like 6.30, so we're going to then hightail it up to Anderson, and then, um, yeah, so I think they're going to get going around 8, so we should be good. We were kind of close last year, if you remember the vlog from last year, but uh, I think we should be good this time, as long as we don't hit too bad traffic, so it's actually really, really nice out, so I'm so, oh man, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Shirt. Sure. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh man, here we go. Oh yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Guess where we are? Don't forget the VIP show club. Welcome, race fans. And then, uh, oh yeah, by the way, tracks over here. What a crowd, man. What a race. What an event. Are you not entertained? Oh man, I am. There's That's something great. special about this race. I don't know what it is. Yeah. It was great. We've got to get a drink real quick and then head up in the stands. We're about about ready. I don't know what's going on here, but it's cool. Another great, successful year here for World 500 is. Festival. Yes, we've been really pleased. This is our 32nd annual the crowd's still festival. Following that, man. Joining me is Coach and behind us, we got We Fix Boo Boos. I don't think they're so, fixing Robinson. that one. Anderson, Madison County Visitors Bureau is the executive director, Matt Larson Ross. Matt, <laughs> good evening everyone. Turning 19th out of Tampa, Florida, the PCS Racing Series. Yeah, Turning 19th out of Tampa, Florida, the PCS Racing. Entry with four top ten finishes in the little 500. 2017 Southern Sprinter Shootout Series. Runner up in points. Number 68 is Mickey Kempke. <laughs> the hot flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Some dudes having some problems already. So, uh, Paolo Garrett. Yeah. I'm so excited. Best race of the week. Start out row number three. There. And this field has now assembled to get ready to go racing. And this time now, ladies and gentlemen, accepting Wagon Mike. This is it.
hours later. Uh, maybe. All right, well, update. Um, the sun's kind of still going down. We are on lap uh, 133. No, y'all can't see that. But uh, yeah, some dude got turned down here and his left rear clipped the, the water barrel and then it just went all over the track. <laughs> and the cars went through it. It was pretty funny. Um, yeah, I don't know. You'll probably see the GoPro footage of it somewhere, but um, yeah, so we've been here for a while and uh, we're probably going to be here for a while. Once again, we're only on lap 133 and there's probably been at least six or seven already crashed out. Like, There's usually a pretty good collection down here of cars by the end of the race and there's already a handful of them down there. So, yeah. Take a shake. You guys know the deal. Um, after the little 500, we've been talking about this for a while to uh, get seven by sevens. So we're working on it. So, um, did you have fun? Always. So Always. it was a very eventful race. I guess we'll talk about it a little bit later. But um, yeah, uh, I don't know how or what you'll see for the GoPro footage. But um, yeah, it was it was very eventful. So uh, you got the time? 12:30. It's 12.30, and of course tomorrow is the race day, we're going to probably get up at like 4 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're running out of time. Anyway. Yeah, who needs sleep? But uh, yeah, 7 by 7 it's hopefully coming up. Look at this. It is about to go down. It is about to go down. We got two of them. Look at this. 14 patties. Oh yeah. 14 pieces of cheese. Oh yeah. This is it right here. This is it, and it's about to go down. And both of our chomps, our first chomps, have to be uh, have to be videoed. All right. So here we go. Now we've done this before, but um, yeah, good luck. How do you eat it? I don't know. I, you just kind of go for it. Just gonna have to full sand. Here we go. No. Oh. When you're ready. Oh God. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. oh, oh yeah. Look at this. Look at this. That is that is America right there. God bless America. <laughs> All right. This has been forever since I had one of these. Um, I, try to, I try to do a little pre-smooshing just to try to help my face a little bit. Um, yeah. Why don't you show them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is how we're going over here. It's, uh, it's all kind of falling apart, so. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Last time I ate one of these, I took a pickle up the nose. And you squirted stuff everywhere. And... Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah, you this, got it. Oh, man. I got to find my entry point here. I'm taking fries with me. Oh, oh man. Go with the fries section here. Here we go. Right, you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. How is it? Oh, let's get, let's. Oh, yeah. That looks so good. It's just a wad of meat. My whole face ate that. <laughs> My whole face. You gotta pickle up the nose again, too. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my goodness. This is great. This is great. Do y'all have steak and shake near you? You gotta try it. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna... I probably look like a fucking idiot. Oh yeah. Everything on my face. Uh, I'm gonna tear down this. Update. Uh, we're at halftime right now. I got myself cleaned up. Had to go to the bathroom and all. But um, yes, yeah, so this is what I'm working with. So I mean, um, the way everything's lined up here, I mean, I've got a good bit of it done. I'm about halfway through, maybe a little bit more. The the problem with this though is there's so much meat. You got to get through the meat. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I was really working on this corner right here, but I'm getting there. Uh, now Brody over here, he's just kind of down to a salad at this point. 
<laughs> but uh, you're doing your best, and I'm proud of you. Yeah, this is a pretty American salad. We got a base of French fries with meat and cheese. Got some tomato here, oh, yeah. some onion, some lettuce, some pickle, bread. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Not really, but at the same time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, round two right here. Uh, I'm gonna try to finish this up as best I can. Uh, the one other time I attempted this, it was over season, and I just didn't have it in me to finish it. But um, ah, I don't know, man. I think it's gonna be a photo finish for me. We'll see. Well, guys, we just fell short tonight. <sighs> man, I didn't want to leave this much on the plate. Usually, I like to be like Eli and be a part of the clean plate club, but. Um, Man, this, uh, this burger, let me tell you, it, uh, it requires some training, that's for sure. And I feel like if I, if I could have trained for the week, you know, up, up to this part, I, I probably could have finished this thing. You know, I'm tired. I already don't feel well anyways. I sure as shit can't hear after the race tonight. Uh, but, uh, yeah, excuses aside, I tried my best. I really did. It got to the point, the, the biggest challenge with this burger, let me tell you, the biggest challenge that you come across is that there's so much meat here and the cheese does not go well with it. I mean, it goes well with it when you first eat it. There, there is such a thing as too much meat and too much cheese. Yeah. It's just that once you get to it, like after it, it just gets like the cheese and the and the meat. It just gets so sickening after a while. So, I tried. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't end up like this, so I'm, no. I'm proud of myself. This is, um, if you saw the little 500 race footage, the race start with the 28, this is pretty much what happened here. <laughs> Lost the tire. In front this of the all went wrong. <laughs> oh boy, but uh, yeah, I mean overall, like, yeah, a lot of meat. There's so much meat with this thing, man. I mean, that's uh, that's what we got. It looks worse, I think. I mean, yeah, there's, there's definitely there's definitely a good bit left. I'm I'm ashamed. I wish I could have got more, man. There's at least a triple cheeseburger's worth of meat in there, though. So I'm, I don't. Yeah, but uh, the biggest, the most importantly for me is that. Uh, I, I one more bite and I probably would have puked. Honestly, the last one I had to drink the rest of my cherry coke just to get it down. So uh, yeah, I didn't really want to spend the rest of the night puking. So um, with that, uh, we're gonna go back, get like three hours of sleep, and then get up and go to the track. Yep. So um, well, once again, I'm disappointed, but I tried it. We'll be back next year, and uh, we'll be back better than ever. So until tomorrow. Well, later today. Until later today, uh, good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, welcome to hour 10 of the vlog. Uh, whew, it is race day. Yep. Um, so it is 6.06, or 6.05. I, I set my clock a minute early. Um, yeah, sun's coming up. We're rolling out a little bit uh, earlier than, uh, or a little bit later than we wanted to, but uh, I got a nice long shower in. I feel pretty good, actually. Oh, I need you gotta do this thing. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Entertain the folks. I'll be right back. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, so we got a long day ahead of us. I I don't think we're gonna get a single lap in today, honestly. I don't know though. Uh, the vortex theory, man, if we can get the cars rolling, you never know. We might be able to get the whole thing in. I don't ever know. Um, but uh, it should be pretty interesting. Obviously, you guys know what happened. Uh, my official prediction is that. Uh, it's just gonna we're just gonna run the whole damn thing on Monday, but I really hope we get it in all in today. Either all in today or all in tomorrow, man. I just wanna see a full race and uh, hopefully get to it at some point. So you good to go? Yep. So um shout out to uh Brody. He's got uh we're we're rolling with the, the Starcom fan club today, but uh Starcom hat and the uh Paul Tracy oh. two thousand two shirt. Oh yeah, two thousand two winner. Yeah. So looks pretty good. Yeah, so we're gonna try to work our way to the track here, wish us luck. Um, hopefully we get there in the next three hours. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Fun days. Well, it's, uh, it's race day. <laughs> yeah. It is race day. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we're, we're pretty much here. This guy don't look good. It's actually really nice out. Like, back here it looks good. Up here it don't look good. But, uh... Yeah, it's a pretty morning. It just, I think it's gonna go downhill from here. So, um, anyways, we had a really great time uh, getting to the where we were parking. So, uh, shout out to this guy for knowing what the hell's going on, nowhere to go. So, uh, yeah, got made it really easy for us, and uh, just going right in. Fuck it. Looking forward to seeing my favorite drivers compete. 
in the greatest race in the world. All right, it's stupid fucking early, but we had to come up here before it started raining, so. It's 7 a.m. Yeah. Unfortunately, no suite this year, but uh, this is actually a pretty cool view. Uh, we were there in the suite the last two years. Uh, my first two Indy 500s, we sat in turn three. So this is kind of a new a new view for us. Um, so we get a direct line uh, from turn one. And of course, we still get a great view of turn two, which is always seems to be Calamity Corner the last couple of years. So that's going to be fun. But um, yeah, I'm excited, man. These seats are pretty darn cool. I, I really hope we get the race in today, man. But uh, yeah, once again, Sky, it's not look promising, I'll tell you that. <laughs> They're on sale, I bet. Oof. 40% off. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but apparently NBC Sports is doing something. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> I was really close to pulling the trigger on a Fernando Alonso shirt, but instead I got two stickers. This one you can see. Uh, yeah, yeah, pulled out of the bag. So we're gonna add some stickers to Boris. Um, there you go. And we got the DNQ <laughs> 66. I forgot it was 40% off, so it's only like two bucks. Feels good, man. Hell yeah. Just go as fast. So we're in the midway. Today I learned uh, Jay Howard. The guy who sent Scott Dixon flying has a, a development series or a driver thing program. Uh, and all these cars, uh, team cars sucked at IRP, so, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Alright, we'll go to Plaza, uh, what was it, like 8 o'clock? Yep. All right, so uh, we haven't done this yet. Usually we wait till about race day for the pre-race predictions. Uh, once again, by the time you see this, you already know who won. We don't, obviously. But uh, I'll let you go first. I already know who I'm picking. Man. So, one, one pick. One pick to win today. It's tough to say. But I like Sato. Bold prediction. Had a fast car in the draft on Friday. It's been kind of quick all week. Feeling good about Sato today. As long as the Ray Hall team doesn't let him down. Like That's a very bold prediction. Not who I would have picked. But uh, for me, uh, I've been I've been battling between Ed Carpenter and Alexander Rossi. I picked Ed Carpenter last year. He finished second. I still think Ed's going to win one one of these years if he keeps on bringing fast cars. Uh, you know, you're bound to win one eventually. Well, that's how it goes for most people. With that being said. I'd like to see him win, but uh, picking Alexander Rossi today, I think he's got a fast car. Most importantly, he's got some giant stones. I think he's going to need it for a day. I think the track's going to be pretty fast. And of course, he's going to be a threat of rain all day. So he's my pick. If I had to pick anybody in the field, he's the guy I think is going to get it done. With that being said, Takuma Masato and Alexander Rossi are picks. Yep. Um, overall, I'm hoping for somebody to win their first. Um, I don't absolutely like to see somebody stupid win, so. With a threat of rain, you never know. Elio's already in his fire suit. Woke up with the thing on, man. He's ready to go. Ready to finish fifth. We had to put that uh, that gray repair in his hair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got the hair ready. He's got his hat on, but he, it, it, it's good underneath there. I guarantee you. Exactly what's going on here, but it's kind of cool. Yeah. They're getting pretty good. I'm vlogging. Tell, tell them who you are and what you're about. 
Cody H Gaming, what's up guys? We're at Indy. There you go. Dude, this guy was my teammate team. for like five whole races. Wow. So, stole my top ten. Yeah, I did do that. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. That's pretty cool though. Got it so. three and hold time. Yeah, me too. Dude, we got a window. We've got a window until like one o'clock and then it's you know, who knows? But uh, look at this cameraman, professional grade. Double vlogging. I need to get one of these. I'm vlogging with my phone like a dumbass. But we'll, we'll get to that level one day. That's great. Shit. Got a couple of those in the vlog too. Kyle Kaiser is a Cinderella story this year's. Oh, James Sinchcliffe is the comeback. <laughs> it's Marshall Newton. Wow. Everybody's yeah. favorite moderator, the Rick Allen, Marshall Newton. Say hi to everybody. Tell them who you are and what you're about. You gotta talk louder, man. It's loud. I'm Marshall, and I like Starcom Racing. All right. Thank you for that. So uh, yeah, he's he's one of the moderators in the chat. If you watch the live streams, he's in the Discord. Uh, he roasts people. So uh, yeah. So you know, get in here. Starcom Fan Club at the Indy 500. Come on, you can do it. Come on. There you go. Nice. And it should be one of the greatest guys. Look at this man. Went down there and uh, talked with Newton for a while. And uh, we're about 45 minutes away, a little bit longer than that. It was filed in, man. It's always crazy. The crowd when you get here and everything files in. It's unbelievable, man. It's an unbelievable sight. That's a new view for us. I'm really excited. Oh, yeah. I've this, never sat here before, so I'm Yeah, I'm of course I haven't either, so this is, this is pretty darn cool. That's great.
what a hoss. God bless him, man. Fucking awesome. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Holman and Company Chairman Tony George for the most famous words in motorsports. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engine. happy that we kind of got got there we got some sort of finish and it came down to the wire because uh, it really did not look like that was going to happen um, but uh, yeah those are just like first impressions we almost got uh, some fuel mileage going on it just didn't quite get there for that but uh, yeah we'll, we'll let you we'll let you talk yeah so i'm with you i've been to about i think this was my 15th indy 500 and yeah, ranks in the behind. top top three worst it was just no passing i mean i do like that it he is starting to become more of a driver's race again, but yeah, know. that's something I definitely like. I really like that it's more of a driver's race now. And yeah, really I can't say it. can't say Pagano didn't deserve it. I'm not going to say I'm happy, but I'm gonna he say spanked. He, he deserved it. He spanked everybody today. Well deserved victory. Started from pole uh, first since what says in nine, I think. Yeah, so. first time in ten years. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah, he was dude. He was on it. Mm -hmm. I uh, I thought about picking Pagano at some point because everybody was not picking him. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I just I didn't think he'd have it in him, but uh, he drove a really great race. I'm surprised, uh, but uh, he drove a really great race. That's all I gotta say. So with that, um, I mean that's pretty much about it. Kokomo got canceled, so um, yeah, we're just gonna go back, probably watch the Coke 600. I'm actually doing surprisingly good on um, energy. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll have to get some food at some point, and uh, yeah, that'll be the rest of it. So I don't know what you'll see from here. Uh, we're probably going to have to wrap it up as soon as we possibly can because uh, we're probably in about an hour eight by now. So, uh, yeah, with that, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog up until this point. Uh, it's been a fun time as always. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what comes next. Thanks, Carl. All right, well, it's uh, Tuesday morning. Sorry right, to head out. As usual, we got some stickers to add to Boris's collection. Oh, yeah. Um, Hello there. Don't, don't show me. I'll bug you. Oh, okay. Um, anyways, uh, we got uh, one of the biggest disappointments of May in a while. Uh, Fernando Alonso, 40% off sticker. That's right. First up, we're going to cover up the <laughs> National Archery Association because it's uh, seen better days. So, eh, just going to... Eh. Oh, yeah. There it is. Fred will ride with us for a long time to come in 34th. At least, at least she's going to go 500 miles this time. And next up... He is going to make it 500 miles all the way home, just over. Uh, next up, one of my favorite IndyCar drivers now, uh, and former F1 teammate, Marcus Erickson. Oh, yeah. Yeah, stick, oh, stick that. I don't want to block the keel. <laughs> That's probably a bad idea. 
I don't understand what the point of having a key on the back of a pickup truck is, but yeah, hey, you, you know. You got a point there, but that's all right. All right, hopefully it'll stick on. I know Fred will. Oh yeah, look at that. We got they. We got we got all the good that's stuff. That's the all-star collection right there. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Once again, I'm about to head out. So um, yeah, it's really about it, man. I, I really appreciate everybody for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I want to thank this guy for. Once again, let me invade his place and uh, take over his desk, and uh, I didn't even get anything done while I was here, so I felt kind of bad. But I did stream a couple times, so that's cool. Anyways, uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, so like a nine-hour drive home, 500 miles. Fred's first 500 miles this, uh, this month, so um, is there anything you'd like to say to cap off the vlog? Nope. Wow, you really left us hanging there. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> I'm nothing but a disappointment. Oh, man, that's not true. Aww. But anyways, uh, yeah. Yeah, appreciate everybody, and uh, uh, next time we'll see him in September. Actually, that'll be the next race vlog. Feels bad, man. Won't be able to get to a race till September. Cause sure as shit ain't going to Pocono. So with that, um, yeah, next vlog will be September if I make it, which 90% probably I'll be there. But um, uh, with that, thank you for watching, and uh, that should be about it. And shout out to Indy Racing Images and Eli, the real MVP, sending me home with a new play seat. Uh, <laughs> A lot of you guys have been roasting my chair for a long, long time, so I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to get this worked out, but uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about my truck bed. It's a long story, but um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to get, uh, can't wait to get that figured out, man, and uh, Mustache is going to learn from day one. We ain't fucking with this chair. <laughs> All right, in the event it rains, we got uh, taped down garbage bags on top of it, just in case. We got uh, four fresh tires on it, and we are ready to rumble. Oh yeah. oh yeah! All right, man. Better to roll off. Once again, I know this vlog's already horribly long, but uh, I, I do have to give you guys a minute of appreciation, man. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do stuff like this, man. All you guys from from the from the YouTube members to everybody who's ever donated on the channel during the streams to uh, all the OGs in Discord and uh, everybody who comments on the videos and leaves a like and you know just comes down and just you know watches the video, supports the stuff. So. I uh, really appreciate the hell out of each and every one of you, man, because uh, moments like Sunday, man, watching the fly over and stuff like that makes me uh, really appreciative, and uh, I, <laughs> it's crazy, man, but I really do appreciate each and every one of you, because I really couldn't do this stuff without you, so uh, the least I can do is hit y'all up with the vlog and show you how great of a time it is, and, um, and uh, show you all the cool stuff around here, so um, once again, man, I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and hopefully we'll be back in September for the Brickyard 400. And uh, after that, my schedule races, uh, maybe if I can make it to the Richmond playoff race, uh, of course I'll be at the, the Martinsville playoff race, which is going to be a lot of fun. Brody will hopefully come out for that. But um, with that, I officially wrap up the vlog here, unless anything stupid happens on the drive home. So uh, yeah, once again, I can't thank you guys enough, man. I, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this vlog. I tried my best to get videos out while I was here. I was just, there's so little time. So uh, hopefully I'm excited to get home, crank out some videos, man, get back on it, and uh, it should be fun so thank you thank you thank you and until september uh <laughs> if you made it through all 12 hours of the vlog man you're a trooper